Lisa no, Ray. No. Uh-uh, he ain't gotta be messy. That was Lisa Ray getting asked about her feud with Nicole Murphy. Little did they know Murphy was just the first in a list of shots she's fired at celebs over the years. For instance, here's what she said about Halle Berry. So we don't know what she's doing in the bedroom. It'd be like Halle Berry. What you mean, uh, Lisa Ray, about Halle Berry? She's not supposed to be good in the bed. That's what they say. That's what I read. Really? And that's what I heard. Not just Halle Berry, even Nikki caught smoke with her. She is, she is a shining in her life. She is little Kim, Queen B for real, hands down. She came yes. before you. So how do you even turn the, the another cheek or, or just how do you just snub her? You think television is all she's known for. But if you look deep into Lisa Ray's story, you'll realize that as much as her success has been tied to her incredible talents in front of the cameras, she also makes a K-ing being one of the most controversial people in Hollywood. This very reason is why several of her fans idolize her both on social media and in real life. But you know how celebrities are known to take a different approach to things than most of the public? Well, this is yet another case of that as the same very controversial reason people praise her also happens to be why many of our biggest stars can't stand her. I'd say Lisa has been caught up in a controversy with one in every 30 celebrities, but that would be a bit of an exaggeration. Still, it gives you an idea of just how contentious this woman is considered. This narrative even becomes funnier when you realize that Hollywood is literally the one line of work where people are supposed to thrive on controversy. However, the truth is, we can't say the woman isn't thriving, because as of late last year, her net worth stood at a whopping $4 million. But what we can do is agree that she may not be as successful as you'd have expected of someone with the talent and opportunities that have come her way. That's right, it seems Lisa's rise through the ranks in the industry might have been marred by the series of disagreements she got into with several of Hollywood's giants. From accusing some of the biggest actors of jaw-dropping things, to going at it with people many would describe as music industry royalty, there's almost no one Lisa hasn't made the headlines with for largely contentious reasons. This conflicting nature gains more ground when you realize that even her own family members aren't off limits when she's going in for an attack. Being this confrontational should normally get people to steer clear from her, but it's almost like this nature is what actually gets people to test her further, in turn leading to another cycle of this same thing. While we may all agree that Lisa is indeed a troublemaker, this is in no way to say the woman doesn't know exactly what she's talking about whenever she does decide to speak on her feuds. Of course, it's expected that doubts will come, since she's mostly been spilling the tea about the people in the inner circles of Hollywood, so she's not out here saying things like Chris Brown got caught with meat after claiming to be vegan. Oh no. Her claims are usually more about already sensitive spots for several people. Now most fans already know her track record, and news from her in most cases doesn't even surprise many of them anymore. However, there are a few people this woman has been at odds with for several years that fans have missed out on over the years. There are two things here. It's either all of these details make you see her how she seems to want to be seen, or you do through the lenses of the people she's been at odds with. Either way, you might be surprised. Saucy Santana story now. He was trending over the weekend because his tweets from 2014 have resurfaced where he made negative comments about Blue Ivy. Lisa Ray, what you think? I think... No, you don't want to know what I think. Born to a businessman dad and a model mother, Lisa Ray was almost certainly going to be a star since the early days of her childhood. Following that path as a professional, her early work comprised small parts in low-budget films and music videos, which gave her a platform to hone her skills and earn visibility. Her breakthrough in the industry, however, came when she played Diamond, a struggling college student who turns to exotic dancing to fund her tuition. In the 1998 film The Players Club, directed by Ice Cube, Lisa Ray's television career was highlighted by her portrayal of Niecy James in the sitcom All of Us, which aired from 2003 to 2007. Her depiction of a loving but strong-willed ex-wife and mother demonstrated her versatility as an actress, winning her a devoted following and several media recognitions. These days, however, the only thing she's getting recognized for doing is walking in and out of controversy, and the first names on her list of contentious battles are Will Smith and Dwayne Martin. The story of how things went south between all three stars seems made up, particularly because they all used to work on the same set, but couldn't be more real. In Will's case, in particular, it was attraction before it became disagreement. Back in 2020, the actress from All of Us, a sitcom created and executive produced by Will and his wife Jada Pinkett Smith, admitted that she would like to have an entanglement with the 55-year-old actor. Will Smith directed two of our episodes. He played my boyfriend, and I had to share a kiss with him, and I was like, <laughs> bring it on. 
We in the scene. I closed my eyes and we kissed. Lisa Ray made an appearance on the August 13th episode of Garcelle Beauvais' podcast, Going to Bed, where the two dished about S in relationships. When the reality star from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills asked Lisa Ray to describe the type of partner she wanted in her life, she responded, Oh, I can tell you right now, Will Smith. Little did the world know this was only a preamble to her plans, but unlike Will, who was even fortunate enough to get a preamble, Dwayne got only a tax right off the bat. A while back, Lisa Ray went on to the Wendy Williams show to basically reinforce what she had said on the explosive TV One Uncensored. At the time, she had said that Dwayne Martin was pretty much the reason why her marriage with her husband Michael McKissick ended. Somehow within that relationship, I lost my husband to Dwayne Martin and they became better friends than what me and my husband did and I couldn't understand that for the love of God. She also said in that interview that Dwayne Martin would introduce her husband to several women who were her friends within the industry and he would just be outright disrespectful to their union. The problem was I married a playboy. Now she had a great interview with Wendy Williams, but after the interview, a lot of people were still saying that there was something that she just was not quite saying, which brings us to the full story. Lisa Ray, who starred as Dwayne's ex-wife in the CW show from 2003 to 2007, originally made the surprising accusation during an interview with TV One TV's Uncensored back in 2019. At the time, she claimed that after she introduced her then-husband, former Turks and Caicos Islands premier Michael Misik to Dwayne, the two grew so close that she ultimately lost her partner to her co-star. I lost my husband to Dwayne Martin, the actress stated during the 2019 interview, which is now recirculating around the web. To really to be quite honest, then he became friends with Dwayne Martin, which used to be one of my friends on all of us. And when I introduced them, that was one of the worst things I ever did. Lisa Ray walked down the aisle with Michael in April 2006, and soon after, she decided to put her acting career on pause and left Hollywood for Turks and Caicos so she could focus full-time on her newfound job as First Lady. She explained on Unfiltered that leaving her friends and family behind and adjusting to her new life was not easy for her. Here I am on this island, yes, it's beautiful, but I have no friends, no family, I have no career, she dished. In addition, she said that Michael was traveling a lot for his work, while she would stay behind to partake in various engagements or appearances on the island. Feeling lonely and homesick, she decided to invite her close friend, Dwayne, to come visit her and Michael in Turks and Caicos, but she called introducing her former co-star to her husband the worst thing she ever did. Dwayne and Michael became better friends than me and my husband were, and I couldn't understand that for the love of God, she said. How Will comes into this is that shortly after Lisa Ray made these claims, shocking allegations resurfaced about Dwayne and Will having more than just bromance. The accusations were made by Will's former friend and assistant, brother Bilal. Bilal went on Unwind with Tasha Kay on YouTube to recount a story of when he allegedly walked in on Will Smith having a S encounter with fellow actor and longtime friend Dwayne Martin. I opened the door to Dwayne's dressing room, and that's when I see Dwayne having AS with Will, Smith's former assistant said to Tasha Kay. She took a moment to digest the information before Bilal continued in more detail. All right, I opened the um, door to Dwayne's dressing room, and that's when I see Dwayne and having AS with Will. There was a couch and Will was bent over on the couch and Dwayne was standing up, K him. It was murder in there. Not a good look for both actors and who stood at the center of those details getting out? None other than Lisa Ray. Well, that wasn't the first time the actress would say something that opened Pandora's box on a fellow celebrity. According to reports, there have been quite a few others, and some of the people she said stuff about might surprise you, starting with Halle Berry. Lisa Ray is known for speaking her mind no matter the subject, but the Players Club actress recently shocked the internet when she blasted Halle Berry for being whack in the bedroom. We don't know what she's doing in the bedroom. It'd be like Halle Berry. Yeah, I can't imagine Tony Braxton not being able to put it down with the with the amount of love songs that this girl got. During a conversation on the Fox Soul Show, Cocktails with Queens, hosted by Rahway alum Claudia Jordan, Lisa Ray, and Claudia, along with fellow co-hosts, actress Vivica A. Fox and singer Selena Johnson, were talking about celebrity relationships and how some women can't keep their men. The ladies brought up singer Tony Braxton when Claudia claimed that the legend had some fine men back in the day. Lisa Ray noted, but she done lost some too, before assuming that it was Tony's lack of skills in the bed. So we don't know what she'd be doing in the bedroom. It could be like Halle Berry. Lisa Ray, Selena, and Vivica moved on from the topic. However, Claudia caught on to what Lisa Ray said and needed her to elaborate. What you mean Lisa Ray about Halle Berry? Claudia asked. 
she not supposed to be good in the bedroom? Without hesitation, Lisa Ray stood by her statement. That's what they said. That's what I read. And that's what I heard. That's what they say. What you mean, uh, Lisa Ray, about Halle Berry? She not supposed to be good in the bed? That's what they said. That's what I read. Really? And that's what I heard. Before Lisa Ray's comment during quarantine, Halle Berry opened up to actor and producer Lena Waithe about her life and claimed that she's happy being single. Not that anything's wrong with the people I've been with, but I'm going to wait for my match or I will stay solo and be with my kids and do my life the way I'm doing it. Suffice it to say the actress didn't appreciate her personal life being brought up as a topic of conversation. But once again, this isn't the only time she's spoken about someone and it wasn't well received, it also happened with Nicki Minaj. The feud between Nicki and Lisa Ray began when the actress said that Kim was above Minaj in the pecking order because Kim's career preceded Minaj. Who she is, she is a shining in her life she is little Kim queen b for real hands down she came yes. before you so how do you even turn the, the another cheek or, or just how do you just snub her we can all stand together queens and say that we are both acknowledging all of us are acknowledging the fact that kim came before Nicki minaj lisa ray said on fox souls out loud with claudia jordan so Nicki, just take a seat you don't have to sit down for long but just take a bow just like beyonce said bow down b because kim's up here so anybody else it's like no competition those comments became fodder for Minaj, who dissed Lisa Ray on the 6 x 9 i -E collaborative song Trolls, rapping, dollar, dollar bill, come get her, even your man know Nikki's do it better. The lyric that everyone <laughs> is talking about, dollar, dollar bill, come get her, even your man know Nikki's do it better. How do you, is that, do you feel like that was about you? It has to be. Minaj even liked a tweet about the lyrics targeting Lisa Ray, which further proves that it was indeed about the actress. More evidence pointing to Minaj trolling Lisa Ray is the fact that the song is a shot at both the actress's career and personal life. Minaj also touches on the fact that Lisa Ray's husband allegedly cheated on her with Nicole Murphy, or another Nikki. Turns out Nikki was right, and this leads us to the next person on the Lisa Ray hate list. See, according to reports, the single lady star claimed in 2019 that old rumors about Murphy having an affair with Lisa Ray's ex-husband were absolutely true when she spoke with TMZ. Nicole did the same thing in the in the early 2000s in your former marriage. Is that true? Did that That's happen? That's true. That's true. Absolutely true. So, so what happened exactly? Just what you said. She messed around with my husband. She messed around with my husband, the 56-year-old told TMZ. She went on to accuse Murphy of having no loyalty and said she didn't understand how a family kiss turned into an I'm sorry apology. After photographs surfaced of Fuca and Murphy smooching in swimwear, a rep for the model told news outlets, Antoine and Nicole are just family friends. She ran into him in Italy and they exchanged a friendly hello and that was it. Lisa Ray, who is the sister of rapper DeBrat, insinuated that she knows of several similar situations with Nicole and married men, but declined to name names. As for Nicole's claim that she didn't know Fuqua was still married, Lisa Ray said everyone knew they were still married and called the situation bulls. I don't know if she's a homewrecker or not, but I know what she's doing to people's homes is just wrecking it, Lisa Ray added. Suffice it to say those two will not be patching up their differences anytime soon, and it is in the same light Lisa Ray and her sister DeBrat might also not be seeing eye to eye for a while. But their feud story is even more complicated than this. What it's been like, what, almost like a, since what? Hey, hey, Ray, like stop, half a baby, no more. No, but, but, Ray, but, here now. And life is like the, what y'all saying. I don't give a fuck what y'all saying. At all. Y'all don't know their story dates back to when DeBrat was introduced to her wife Jessica Judy Dupar by her sister Lisa Ray McCoy. Initially, the Kaleidoscope Hair Products Honcho reached out to McCoy. I met her before she even met my sister. She and I were doing some videos for her Kaleidoscope products because she was actually a fan, McCoy told Madame Noir in April 2020. According to the actress, it was her relationship with Dupar that led to Brat getting to know her future wife. Unfortunately, as Brat and Judy's relationship blossomed, it became a point of contention for the two sisters. The tension between the Funk Daffied rapper and her sister came to the forefront during a 2020 episode of Cocktails with Queens, when McCoy's co-hosts gave her a birthday surprise by inviting Brat on as a guest. McCoy was visibly emotional, as Brat revealed that the two siblings had not been speaking. Awkward! Okay, where does surprise happen? Who knew that this surprise was going to go all the way 
Apparently, McCoy took exception to how her sister announced her relationship with Dupar. I just didn't want to hear it from the blogs and the interviews of people asking me questions, because I didn't hear it from you, McCoy said. And so I'm hurt, that's what I am, she added, while explaining why her and the Brat Loves Judy star had grown distant. By April 2021, the sisters appeared to bury the hatchet, as McCoy showed up to Brat's birthday celebration, and the two shared an emotional hug. Although that was not the end of their drama, that's a story for another day. Speaking of more drama, Lisa Ray has also gotten into it with Beyonce as well, after she took shots at the legend. Per the reports, Lisa Ray opened up a door for Beyonce fans to bombard her comment section after shading her and Jay-Z in a recent interview. In honor of hip-hop's 50th anniversary, the single ladies actress stopped by Hot 97, where she pinpointed the exact moment she fell in love with the popular musical genre. She mentioned that to note that seeing the girl group Salt and Pipa make their mark in a male-dominated industry inspired her to test out her musical talents. I remember seeing and feeling the female vibe with them. You know it's like women are doing it too, girl power. You know I felt that, and they had messages in their songs. Because of their impact, McCoy decided to branch into music. During her conversation, she reminisced about her old record Would You with rapper Benzino and Mario Winans. I remember doing Apollo and I was clean, she said. McCoy's face lit up while thinking about fans' excitement as she took the stage, however, her expression quickly turned to a raised eyebrow and pursed lips after she discussed where the idea of the song stemmed from. It was the new Bonnie and Clyde before Jay-Z and Beyonce, okay? Get into it, okay, she said. Yikes. Well, the Beehive definitely didn't let that slide as they came for her in their full force. But even that wasn't enough to shut the actress up, as she later took shots against Beyonce's daughter Blue Ivy, calling her hair nappy. You said that uh, about uh, Baby Bella. <laughs> Girl fight. He couldn't say that about Baby Bella because she doesn't have nappy hair. You can probably already tell by now that this woman is always looking to make trouble. You could even say it's something she enjoys at this point. But if she keeps it up, she'll probably land in more trouble than she can handle. Or not. Tell us what you think. That's it for this video. Goodbye.